Good morning everyone, this is Ranger Rob and uh, my wife decided to get up early and started hacking away at the yard. So uh, we got all this stuff cleaned out. I've been using the tractor to get these branches out of here but she got it all cleared out in here, super nice. And uh, now she's kind of, we thought maybe we trim some of this stuff before they started, you know, the spring leaves start coming out and she's cranking away at our center alley island here and uh this thing just turns into a beautiful bushy thing but there's a couple of very irritating plants in here that she cut out so that's a good thing but the big achievement is i uh a couple of videos ago i've been telling you these <laughs> pots are incredibly heavy so I took a 2x4 and I wedged them and actually got them slid back but Sherry and I have got to get this one turned around but uh here's the tricky ones here's some other two barrels super heavy so we thought we would use the tractor so I pulled the tractor out and we're gonna see if we can't slide these barrels up to the house again carefully and see what happens so who knows so here's the plan we got a two by four it's at the base and uh sherry's gonna bring the tractor up i'm gonna put this board into the bucket she's gonna push forward carefully we want to push at the bottom because one is these are tippy, two is uh, they're old barrels so I'm afraid that they'll bust up if we take the uh, bucket to the center of them. So we'll see what happens here. Let's see. It may work, it may not. It worked! Alrighty. So that actually worked pretty dang good. So now we're gonna do this bucket here. Same routine, uh that seemed to work really good. Good job, Mom. I am so glad to get those back in place. And I can grow some tomatoes there again. One thing that's good about cutting up branches and stuff like that, these guys get some good sticks to chew on. What you got? What you got, Belle? You got one too? Yeah, nothing beats a good stick. That's good for their teeth. And they don't have spikes in them. So Sherry's going over by the trail and get ready to hack up another tree. So we're going to go see... This tree gets really bushy, so we're probably going to cut the heck out of this one. Well, we've been taking a closer look at this tree here. This is an olive tree, right? Yeah. And uh, although they're pretty trees and stuff, this thing will go nuts. We're thinking about taking the whole thing out of there. It'll grow back. <coughs> it will grow back. <coughs> you know, allow these pine trees to do flourish a little better. And uh, yeah, that'll be kind of nice. By the way, what's your uh, smock say? Spring is here. We got some free smocks from uh, Terrabon Hardware, so it was really nice they gave those to us. Uh, all the smocks we have here, which are really old ones, all have holes in the pockets. And uh, so yeah, anyway, so we'll, yeah, I think we're gonna probably thin that out and then bring a chainsaw out. I think. Be nice if we could use a chainsaw versus hand doing it. Yeah, but 
give us access to the bottom and then we'll take oh, a yeah. chainsaw to it. So yeah, chainsaw day. Yeah, I gotta admit, having a sunny day, get some of this yard stuff done. It's actually very pleasant. It makes it nice to work in the yard. So there's plenty of projects to do. I did get my butterfly back up here. And uh, my next project is to fix all these, these hoses. Uh, they get kind of messed up when they did the, the siding on the house. So yeah, anyway, lots of things to do today. Well, it's been a pretty productive day. I actually had a chance to go into the RV over here and ch uh, change the LP alarm. Uh, it was, when they get old, they just start beeping and then they just say replace them. So I finally got that replaced. So no more beeping. So now it's time to see if I can get my chainsaw fired up and cut out this tree. <laughs> that puppy cut down I'm definitely out of shape uh, looks like I may uh, be burning a little bit too much oil I gotta watch my fuel mixture because that's a brand new chainsaw but anyway got her down just got a mess to clean up now Okay, we're going to take a load over to the back of the property. By the way, this is an olive tree and we've got really big thorns in them. You can see those. And uh, I got stabbed last year and I'm still paying the consequences. I got a, what they call uh, uh, our arthritis from the thorns. So uh, anyway, yeah, you don't want to be stabbed by these suckers. So, let's take this back. Sherry's been busy over here getting all these gardens cleaned up, making lots of compost. So it's uh, looking pretty good. Then uh, I uh, had to take a fence down over here in the garden. Puppies are getting their water. Anyway, so I uh, took this fence down around this these uh, aspens. And uh, we'll clean that up and get that growing flowers again. So I bought this new tool to pull out uh, fence post, but all those came out really easy. But I've got one right here that I've never been able to get out. So I'm kind of curious to see how well that'll work. But in the meantime, since we've had the tractor out, I didn't think this would be a tractor day. Uh, I managed to get some compost over to where I want to plant some onions 
which is uh, right over here. And I brought all the fencing that I had because once I get my onions, I got Walla Walla onions to plant. Uh, I got to keep the dogs out of it. So we got all the fencing here. I brought some compost over to blend in. So I'll blend all that in. I think we're going to go ahead and use uh, fab um, woven fabric. A couple of, about three strips down here. And then I'll plant my onions. So that'll be really cool. I really like Walla Walla onions. And now that we have the freeze dryer, uh, getting too many won't be a problem. So uh, we still got tons of chores to do. We got we haven't take, done anything with the chickens. I did take a hundred pounds of food over to their feeder over there and filled up their their garbage cans. So that's a good thing. So yeah, uh, yeah. There's more going on today. So stay tuned. Alright guys, it's time to try this toy out. This guy right here. Ah, I've never used one of these. I saw it being used on a Living Traditions homestead. And I got one. And uh, so you might get a good laugh at me trying to figure out how to use it. But here goes nothing. That worked pretty darn good. So uh, it's still a little tough, but uh, that was really in the ground. So very happy to get that out. So there you go. Fence piss, <laughs> a fence post puller. And uh, uh, I've seen them at Coastal and some other stores, but I got mine on Amazon and I'm very glad I got it. So there you go. Well guys, there's a lot of things we gotta do all these gardens, all these lawns, here, here, the sides, all around, we got to do weed and feed. <laughs> and uh, it sounds easy, but it's a lot of property to do uh, grass on. It takes three hours to mow our lawns. But uh, before the clover starts going nuts, I want to put a weed and feed on these. So. Uh, next week or two, we'll probably be buying about, oh, 200 pounds of, uh, weed and feed and hit all these, uh, lawns. So they'll be all nice and pretty and green this year. In the meantime, we're going to wrap this video up here. Uh, we're still doing lots of things, but, uh, uh we'll catch up with you guys in, uh, probably tomorrow. So I want to thank you for watching. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. We'd appreciate it. And uh, be safe. Until next time, bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.